Hello, everybody. I'm so happy to see you today. In just a little bit, we're going to have a new friend join us. His name is Max, and I know you are going to love Max, but there's something that you need to know about him. You see, sometimes Max gets really mixed up. When Max joins us, he's going to tell us the Bible story. Today's true Bible story is going to teach us that we belong to Jesus. It's true, we belong to Jesus. And in fact, that's what today's memory verse is all about. Let me teach it to you first and then we'll do it together. At one time, you were far away from God, but now you belong to Christ Jesus. Ephesians 2.13. Okay, are you ready to do it together? Awesome, here we go. At one time, you were far away from God, but now you belong to Christ Jesus. Ephesians 2, 13. Let's do it one more time just to make sure we got it. At one time, you were far away from God, but now you belong to Christ Jesus. Ephesians 2, 13. Great job. Hmm. It seems like our friend Max is running a little bit late. That's okay. We can tell today's Bible story together before he gets here. And then when he shows up, he can tell us the story again. In the Bible, in the book of John, Jesus says, that he is like a good shepherd and we are like his special sheep. Can you bat like a sheep? Jesus said that he knows all of his sheep by name. He says, come Amanda, follow me. Come on Mark, follow me. James, come follow me. The sheep know his voice. They listen to him and they follow him to green pastures filled with yummy grass. Can you pretend to chomp on grass like a sheep? Good job. But sometimes sheep can wander away. And if the sheep don't listen to the good shepherd's voice, they can get lost in the darkness or tangled in the thorn bushes or worst of all, they could get attacked by a wolf. Can you growl like a wolf? But the good shepherd isn't afraid of anything. He protects his sheep from the wolves. If a sheep begins to wander away, the good shepherd uses his shepherd's staff to reach out and pull the sheep close to him again. The good shepherd loves his sheep so, so much. Can you give yourself a big hug? Hey, look who it is. It's Max. Hi, Max. Now that Max is here, he's going to tell us the Bible story again. But remember, sometimes Max gets mixed up. So if Max says something that's wrong, we can say, you're mixed up, Max. And then we can tell Max what really happened in the story. Max says that Jesus is like a good shepherd and we are like his special alligators. <laughs> no, you're mixed up, Max. Okay, what's the correct answer, friends? That's right, we are like his special sheep. Okay, Max says that Jesus knows all of his sheep by name. And he says, come on and follow me. And the sheep know his voice. They listen to him and follow him to green pastures filled with lots of yummy popcorn. No, Max, that's not right. You're mixed up. What's the answer? That's right. The pasture has yummy grass. Max says that sometimes sheep can wander away. And if the sheep don't listen to the good shepherd's voice, they can get lost in the darkness or tangled in the thorn bushes or worst of all, they can get attacked by a dinosaur. What? You're mixed up, Max. Not a dinosaur. 
What's the correct answer? That's right, attacked by a wolf. That's okay. Max says that the good shepherd isn't afraid of anything. He protects his sheep from the wolves. And if a sheep begins to wander away, the good shepherd uses his shepherd's staff to push the sheep away. <laughs> no, Max, you're mixed up. He doesn't push his sheep away. What does he do? That's right, he pulls his sheep closer. Max says he has to go home now. Let's say thank you to Max and wave goodbye. Bye, Max, thank you. Friends, in today's Bible story, we learned that Jesus is like the good shepherd and we are like his sheep. Jesus knows every single one of his sheep's name. On the count of three, I want you to shout your name out. One, two, three. Wow, that's a lot of names I heard. And Jesus knows all of them too. Just like the Good Shepherd, Jesus calls each one of your names and he says, come and follow me. We can follow Jesus because we know that he loves us. In fact, Jesus loves his sheep so much that he's even willing to die for them. Jesus died on the cross so that we could live forever with him in heaven. And now, just like the sheep belong to the Good Shepherd, we belong to Jesus. Hey, that's our big idea for the day. I think we should tell it to everyone we see. Maybe we should practice first. Who could we practice telling? You're right, Topher the Gopher. Let's see if we can find him. Uh oh, it looks like Topher's asleep. I think we should wake him up. When he wakes up, we can all tell him that I belong to Jesus. On the count of three, let's all yell, Topher the Gopher, wake up, wake up. One, two, three. Topher the Gopher, wake up, wake up. Hey, what's the big idea? I belong to Jesus. Oh, that is a big idea. Thanks for telling me. Goodbye. Let's say a prayer together and tell Jesus thanks for being our good shepherd. Dear Jesus, you are such a good shepherd. Thank you for taking care of us and for loving us so, so much. We love you too, Jesus. Amen. Bye, friends.